Now, if you've never owned a pair of binoculars before, uh, it may be a bit of a surprise to you that they actually need setting up uh, for you, the user. Uh, but don't worry, it uh, only takes seconds, but it is important. Here's how you do it. Hello, welcome to my channel, Small Optics. My name is Jason, and in this video, we're going to be looking at setting these things up, binoculars. Um, and it's important that you do go through these steps uh, every time you use binoculars, uh, whether they're yours or somebody else's, uh, to get optimal views. Um, now, if you've bought some binoculars, or you've acquired some binoculars, or, or whatever, and you've looked through and think, oh, th th these are no good, you know, you may have even bought some cheap budget ones, I mean, these are budget binoculars, uh, I've done a full review on, on, on these, I'll flash one of them little tap things up, if you want to watch that. Um, but yeah, if you, especially if you've bought cheap binoculars, you may look through them and think, you know, these are rubbish, I've wasted my money, I can't get focus, you know, and it's all double vision. Well, it's probably because you've not set them up right, that's all it is. So let's just go through the, uh, the, the steps on uh, how to get the optimal views out of your new binoculars. Now, the first thing to do, really, is to attach the strap, okay? If it's come with some kind of strap, which they usually are, is to put this on and get this around your neck, okay? Now, this one's a little bit short for me actually, uh, but, but it'll do for demonstration purposes. Um, now, these serve as two purposes. One, they're, they're, they're something you can, you know, carry, easy to carry the binoculars. But I, I, I think of them more of a safety harness, because if binoculars are dropped, they usually are ruined, okay? Um, if you start knocking prisms out of alignment, then it's, uh, you have to take them to specialists and, and have, have them repaired, like. So, just always have your neck strap on. Like I say, it, it's for two purposes. It's, it's a safety harness as well as uh, a carrying device. Now, another um, <laughs> quite comical to me um, thing that people think that the binoculars are broken, is, especially if they've never looked through binoculars before, they put them up to their eyes and they look through and they're expecting to see this. Okay, now, you're only ever going to see that kind of view in uh, TV and movies and, and cartoons, really. It's just a way that they can show that the character's looking through binoculars. In actual fact, if you are seeing an image like that, that means that there's something wrong with your binoculars, okay? Um, uh, but... What does, one of the biggest causes of having a double image, in actual fact, is this adjustment that you can see where the binoculars will move this way like this, okay, on this axis. Now what this is for, and it's important that you set this up right for you, because everybody's face is different, and especially your eye spacings. And it's important that you have uh, the eyepiece of the uh, binoculars, which is actually called the oculus, for some strange reason, um, that, that you have that uh, spaced exactly right with your eye spacing, okay? If you don't, you will get that double image uh, affair going off, and we don't want that. You just want one nice circle when you're, you, you're looking through the binoculars, okay? So that's the first thing to set up, is uh, to get your strap on and just make sure that, that the, the oculars are in line with your own eyes. Now, if you look um, closely at your binoculars, now these are what's called full-size binoculars. Your, yours may be a slightly different shape uh, than these. Uh, they do come in different shapes and sizes, but binoculars are pretty much all the same. And uh, one really important um, feature of the binocular is, uh, is what's called the dioptic, right? Uh, now, this is usually located on the right-hand side, your left, as we're looking at it. Um, and you'll, you'll just see that one of the, um, the eyepieces, or oculars, will twist and move up and down independently. The other one will be fixed, okay? And usually it has... A little dot or, or sometimes it has a plus and a minus okay and this this will just turn independently of the other ocular okay and that is uh, that is a really important feature of uh, actually setting your binoculars up but this needs to be done 
outside okay and another uh, common problem that new binocular owners do and i'm guilty of it i've got to be honest is you take your binoculars out of your box you have a quick look at them and then you hold them up and you look at them through the kitchen window or the living room window or something like that and the only thing that's going to do is uh, just show you how bad the glass in your windows is really um you're just going to get bad refractions and uh, even maybe even double vision, uh, if you're, especially if you're going through double glazing or something like that. Any optical equipment like binoculars and telescopes are designed to be used outside, okay? So take them outside, you know, even if it's just opening the kitchen door and looking them through, especially on, when, on this next step of uh, setting up the dioptic. Okay, assuming we're outside now, or you're outside, um, we're going to set up the dioptic now. Now, don't worry, it's, it's really easy, this is not difficult. The first or easiest way to do it when, you, when you're just getting used to it is to just get one of your dust covers and cap the right hand uh, binocular, okay, the right hand side. Just cap that off. Right now, get a, a, a tree or whatever in the distance and get it in the best focus that you can get it, okay. Um, and get it to a nice crisp focus. Then all you've got to do is swap the cap, all right, put it onto the other side, all right, and check the focus again. Now, it may be slightly out of focus, and this is where your dioptic comes in. And then just gently adjust it until you get a nice crisp focus again, all right? And then you should be there. Just take the cap off. Now, now remember to take both the caps off now and have a look, you may need to refocus a little bit and just make sure that it's all nice and crisp. Now you may need to just go through the process again, you know, just, just to, and just, just check and, uh, and once you've done that, your dioptic is, is, is uh, all ready and set up to go. Now you could, if you've got multiple you people using your binoculars, you know, and they're, they're, they're fiddling around with it. You can actually put a little mark just to identify it. If you have got numbers, maybe take a note of where the position of your dioptic is. But to be honest with you, you know, it's, it's just as easy just to just to go through this process and just to set it up. Now, once you've um, set your dioptic up and that, that's the only, you only now need to uh, adjust your centre focuser, okay? Uh, this only ever needs to be touched, like I say, if somebody else alters it or, or it just accidentally gets altered. Now, assuming you've gone through all the uh, steps there, your binoculars are set up and they're ready to be used. Now, a little tip about uh, finding targets, uh, whether that's a boat on the horizon or a bird in a tree or even the moon, okay, um, is to, to prevent from sweeping and doing this, where is it? you know, um, is to, first of all, is, is not to look at your binoculars, okay, I know it's uh, a little bit tempting, you've got your nice new binoculars, you want to be looking at them, okay, but doing this, looking at your binoculars, doing this, doing this, and doing this, okay, it's, it's hard for your eyes to uh, suddenly get like something that's this close up focus, and that's something like, you know, infinite focus. And the best way to do this is to say if you were targeting a boat on the horizon, is to keep looking at your target, all right? So you'd be looking, you keep your eyes fixed at that target and bring the binoculars up to your eyes this way like that, okay? And you'll find that your nine out of 10 times will hit it spot on and it will pre <laughs> prevent any of this uh, fishing about looking for uh, your target. There you go, see, I told you it wasn't difficult to set up binoculars. And like I say, this process is a lot harder to, uh, or takes more time to explain than it does actually to do in practice. Well, that's about it for this one. Um, if you like what you're seeing, um, I don't do stupid binocular uh, videos, you know, there's all sorts. It's mainly astronomy related, my channel. I do hints, tips, um, unboxings, uh, you name it, anything astronomy. So if that sounds something that, you know, may be of interest to you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Well, in the meantime, take good care of yourselves and I will see you on the next one.